Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa, and this week's topic is furniture, Möbel, Bett, Bed, and in Germany it's a neutral word, so be das Bett. Ich habe mein Bett selbst angemalt. I painted my bed myself. I actually really enjoy that. That's one of my hobbies to buy old vintage furniture, making it look new, painting it in different colors. I think that's very fun and it's actually very unique and individual. Bücherregal, bookshelf. In this case, it would be das Bücherregal. Mein Bücherregal sieht sehr chaotisch aus. My bookshelf looks very chaotic. Esstisch, dinner table. Table is der Tisch, so it would be um, der Esstisch. Abends sitze ich gerne mit meiner Familie am Esstisch. In the evening, I like to sit with my family at the dinner table. Kommode, dresser. Kommode is feminine and it would be die Kommode. Ich habe meine Kommode auch selbst angemalt. I painted my dresser myself. As I mentioned before, I really like to do that. Painted my own dresser last summer in white and I had a lot of fun um, just being creative and um, just being creative. <laughs> Nachttisch, nightstand. Tisch is masculine, der Tisch, so in this case it would be der Nachttisch. Even though Nacht is feminine, die Nacht, but uh, when two words come together in Germany, usually it is the last word that is important, so in this case also it would be der Nachttisch. Der Nachttisch an meinem Bett ist sehr alt und von meiner Oma. The nightstand at my bed is very old and from my grandmother. <laughs> Thank you for watching the German Weekly Words. Today's topic is furniture. I hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Ready. Hello, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa and today's topic is cooking. The first word is grillen, barbecue. Uh, am Rhein kann man sehr schön grillen. At the Rhine, um, there are really pretty places to barbecue. In the summertime, it's very common that young people come together, friends or even family, and barbecue at the, at the Rhine. There are spots where it's not allowed, uh, but uh, yeah, it's really fun. Pfeffer, pepper. It is um, das Pfeffer, so it's neutral. Ich liebe Pfeffer und brauche das auch immer in meinem Essen. I love pepper and I always need it in my uh, meals. Salz, salt. Brezel mit Salz ist einer meiner Lieblingsgerichte uh, aus Deutschland. One of my favorite meals from Germany is actually Brezel with salt. Zutat, ingredient. It is die Zutat, it's feminine. Bevor ich einen Kuchen backe, gucke ich mir die Zutaten an. Before I bake a cake, I look at the ingredients and I read what I need. Speiseöl, cooking oil, it is um, das Öl, so it is das Speiseöl. Speiseöl, finde ich, gehört zu jedem Essen dazu. I think cooking oil belongs to every meal. Thank you for watching and um, tell me what's your favorite uh, cooking ingredient or experience. Maybe you had a crazy cooking experience. Leave in the comments and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa and today's topic is tableware. The first word is Kaffeebecher, coffee mug. Wenn ich keine Zeit habe, dann nehme ich mir immer meinen Kaffee im Kaffeebecher mit. Uh, when I don't have a lot of time, I actually take my coffee mug with me with coffee to drink it on the way. Schöpfkelle, ladle. It is feminine. Ich habe, glaube ich, noch nie eine Schöpfkelle benutzt. I, I don't think I've ever used a ladle before. Tasse, 
cup. It is the Tasse, so it's feminine. Ich habe meine Lieblingstasse. I have my own favorite cup. I get really mad when somebody else uses it. It's my cup. <laughs> teller, dish. It is der Teller. It's masculine. Meine Mutter benutzt seit Jahren die gleichen Teller. My mom has been using the same dishes for years. Weinglas, Weinglas. Ja, die Weinkenner unter euch wissen, dass man nur bestimmte Weingläser für Wein benutzen darf. The wine experts who are watching know that only certain wine glasses are used for wine. I've served wine in just normal glass and oh my god, the wine experts, they, I know, they, almost, they almost fainted. It was like the best, the worst thing you could do. Thank you for uh, watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Die Schöpfkelle, it is um, English. Uh. Hello, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa and um, this week's topic is rooms. So the first word itself, oh, that's Zimmer, room. Ja, ich als Kind habe ich nicht gerne mein Zimmer aufgeräumt. As a child, I'm sure some of you or many of you relate. I didn't like to clean up my room. Badezimmer, bathroom. Badezimmer is really just a place where you just shower or take your bath and brush your teeth. But the actual like toilet is somewhere else. Abends vor, vor dem zu Bett gehen, uh, gehe ich nochmal ins Badezimmer, um meine Zähne zu putzen. Uh, so before I go to bed, I go to the bathroom and brush my teeth. Küche, Kitchen. Abends, wenn ich Hunger habe, gehe ich in die Küche und esse gerne noch was. So I am the type, before going to bed, I love to just go into the kitchen and just eat something really quick before going to bed, even though it's bad. Schlafzimmer is bedroom. Well, Schlaf is from the verb schlafen, which means sleep. Uh, die Sicht von meinem Schlafzimmer ist uh, sehr schön. The view of my bedroom is very beautiful. Wohnzimmer means a living room. In meinem Wohnzimmer um, habe ich einen Fernseher. In my living room I have uh, my TV. Thank you uh, for watching and um, tell me what's your favorite room of the house and leave it in the comments. Thank you. Want to learn German anywhere, anytime? Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. Hi, welcome to uh, Ger no, I'll say that again because I said uh. Hi, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa. Today's topic is home tools. Maßband, tape, measure. Als ich mein Zimmer umdekoriert habe, musste ich alles mit einem Maßband ausmessen. Uh, when I redecorated my room, I had to measure everything with the tape measure. And um, yes, I love to redecorate my room every other month. So it gets like crazy and I like to just change it. So I have like a new feeling in my room. Säge, saw. Ich habe noch nie eine Säge benutzt. I've actually never used um, a saw. I, I'm like scared of it. Maybe I've watched too many movies. I'm just scared it's just going to start and kill me. I think it's going to kill me. Schraube, screw. <laughs> Ja, mein Vater benutzt äh, die Schraube, wenn er etwas ähm, umbaut. My dad actually uses the screw when he works on the house or just some stuff. At home, Schraubenzieher, screw di oh, <laughs> diver, screwdriver. Ich habe das Talent, immer den falschen Schraubenzieher zu benutzen. I have the talent of always using the wrong screwdriver, actually. You know how there's like plus and minus and I don't know why, but I always end up with the wrong one. Wasserwaage, level. Ich musste äh, eine Wasserwaage benutzen, als ich äh, mehrere Bilder in meinem Zimmer aufgehangen habe. I actually had to use the level uh, when I put up a few pictures in my room. It wasn't easy, actually. I thought, okay, this, this should be right. And then it was like, oh, wrong. So it was very interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, leave in the comments maybe what you've done in the house or what you enjoy working on with your tools. And uh, I hope you watch again soon. Thank you. Bye. 
Hello, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa and today's topic is home electronics, house electronic. Fernseher, television. <laughs> okay, on television there are good movies. Im Fernseher laufen gute Filme. Klimaanlage, air conditioner. In Germany it doesn't get that hot, so a lot of houses actually don't have air conditioning. I mean, it's more healthy and it just feels really good. In Deutschland ist es nicht sehr üblich, eine Klimaanlage zu haben. In Germany it's not very common to have air conditioning. Ofen, oven. In this case it is masculine and it is der Ofen, the oven. In Deutschland benutzt man für sehr viele Gerichte den Ofen. The oven is used for a lot of meals in Germany. Baking. <laughs> Germans are very, very good with baking cakes and also for different kind of meals with cheese on top of it or just a lot of food is made in the oven. It's very common. Staubsauger. Vacuum cleaner. Uh, Sauger means suck and um, Staub means dust. So um, it's a dust sucker. <laughs> it is der Staubsauger. Is It's masculine. Not a lot of men like to do vacuum cleaning, but it is still der Staubsauger. Heutzutage gibt es Staubsauger, die automatisch putzen. Nowadays, there are vacuum cleaners who function automatically. I really want to get one of those, those round ones. They just look like UFOs or I don't know, but um, I think they're really fun and kind of cute. And when they bump into a corner, they just move the other way. And it's actually fun. Cool. Genius. Kühlschrank. Refrigerator. Kühlschrank is made of two words. Kühl is cool and Schrank is shelf. Exact translation would be cool shelf and it is masculine um, since Schrank alone is masculine so it is der Kühlschrank and when in German when two words come together it's always the last word that is important so it would be der Kühlschrank. Der Kühlschrank in meiner Wohnung ist zurzeit leer. The refrigerator in my apartment is very empty actually. Thank you. Thank you for watching German Weekly Words. Home electronics was today's topic. And uh, if you have a favorite home electronic, leave in the comments. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hello, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa. And today's topic is housework. Fegen, to sweep. Ich fege sehr selten. Um, I hardly sweep. I don't know. Nowadays, I feel like there is vacuum cleaners. And I guess outside more. Herausbringen, to take out. In this case, the trash. Als Kind habe ich mich immer mit meinem Bruder gestritten, wer den Müll herausbringt. As a child, I would fight with my brother to see who would take out the trash. Putzen, clean. Ich liebe es zu putzen. I actually love cleaning. I just, I, I feel so good after and I feel like I've done something and <laughs> I really like to clean the house. Trocknen, to dry. Es ist sehr üblich in Deutschland, dass man die Wäsche zum Trocknen raushängt, anstatt einen Trockner zu benutzen. In Germany, it's still very common to hang your clothes outside uh, to dry instead of using the dryer. I really prefer that too. It's just, um, it feels better and when it's really sunny and hot outside, it dries quickly. Wischen, mop. We actually say wischmop. Ich wische alle zwei Tage den Boden. I mop my floor every two days. I think it's, I think if you have a dog or people with a dog know what I mean, but they lose so much hair and it's very important to clean. Thank you for uh, watching and uh, I hope you see you soon. What's your favorite task? Let me know in the comments. Bye. My dog was very scared when I would vacuum. 
It was very funny. He, I don't know, do they think it's like a monster or something? It, it probably looks like one it, for them, like through their eyes, it looks like this thing with a nose. 